Hello, fellow pipe smokers. Thanks for tuning in. Hope everyone's been doing well. I've been doing well. So as you read in the title of this video, I am going to be sharing with you what are, in my opinion, five aromatic pipe tobacco blends that everyone should try. Regardless of whether you don't smoke aromatic pipe tobacco blends or not, or do, or whatever. Maybe especially for those people who don't smoke aromatic pipe tobaccos. I think these will, if anything, will help convince you that aromatics can be a, a wonderful pipe tobacco blend um, to add to your cellar or just pipe smoking experience. So I'm not going to put them in order of like five to one. There's just they're five of my favorites. They're five that I think everyone should try if you haven't. Try all of them if you can. At least try one. I'm, I'm, I would think one of these out of these five has got to sound interesting to everyone. I think. I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, if you're just a hardcore, no, nope, no aromatics, no, nope, then that's kind of sad because you're missing out on a world of wonderful pipe smoking experiences. All right, enough of that. Let's get going. Mm, yummy stuff here. All right, first one comes from McClellan. Holiday Spirit. You can see it says 2009 edition. They release this blend every year around Christmas time. They've been doing it since about 2007 or so. I don't know why they give it a name, excuse me, a year with the name, 2009 edition, 10 edition, 11 edition. They don't change it. It's exactly the same, at least as far as I can tell, it's a 10 description. Is exactly the same. So I think they should just call it Holiday Spirit. Be done with it and drop the name. Um, let me read you the description of the stuff. Gentle blend of Burley, Virginia, and Cavendish tobaccos. Flavored with dark rum, pecan, and cocoa. That sounded good to me when I first when it was first released. And I bought a tin of it. So that sounds like a good flavor combination. And my curiosity was rewarded. Smells fantastic when you crack the tin open. The smells are reminiscent of holiday Christmas time smells. It tastes fantastic when you're smoking it. It tastes exactly like it's described. The room note is wonderful. The wife likes the smell of this stuff. It's not a wet, goopy, overly cased aromatic. It doesn't smoke wet and gurgle. It won't leave a goopy mess in the bottom of your pipe. It won't ghost your pipe. It's just a really good uh, Christmas time aromatic pipe tobacco. I, I got a feeling that this probably along with um, Boswell's uh, Christmas cookie would probably be really good around Christmas time. I need to get me some of that Boswell stuff. I know they make some good aromatics. I've read so many people who say they, they're good. I've got to try and break down and get some. But um, holiday spirit, fantastic stuff. Give it a shot. Christmas time aromatic pipe tobacco. Moving on. Here's another one from McBaron. Sorry, guys. Vanilla cream. This comes packaged or tinned two different ways. There's a flake version, vanilla cream flake, and then this one is the loose cut. As it says on there. Move your fingers, dumbass. Loose cut. And when I first bought this, I bought the flake version. And when I smoke flake tobacco, 90% of the time I rub the flakes out. It's just the way over the fold and stuff method. So when I saw that they had a loose cut version, I was like, well, I'm just going to save myself that step and buy the loose cut version. Looks the same, tastes the same, smokes the same. Um, I really don't see any um, difference in it. Although, because it's already rubbed out, it is actually a little easier to light than just trying to light a flake that you just stuff into a bowl. So it's got that advantage going to it. Maybe that's just me. My favorite vanilla, aromatic. It doesn't have a fake synthetic man-made vanilla flavor. It smells and tastes like real, authentic, organic vanilla, like you know, you get a vanilla bean pod from the grocery store. It smells like real vanilla, not synthetic man-made vanilla flavoring. That's my favorite vanilla pipe tobacco. Vanilla cream. Again, not real wet and goopy. 
Smokes nice and clean. Tastes wonderful. Good stuff. I'm going to try to multitask here and knock out some ashes while I'm continuing to talk about this, so forgive me, guys. The next one actually does have a lot of the bad hallmarks, or I should say the hallmarks, of bad, low-quality, aromatic pipe tobacco. However, the smell and the taste of the stuff is so unbelievably good that, in my opinion, it makes up for that. And it's worth all the yucky stuff about it. It's from Sutliff, Sutliff Pirate Stock. Molto Dolce. I think this is probably one of their highest rated tobacco blends. And it smells unbelievable. The room note when you crack this tin open is fantastic. It tastes as good as it smells. You get the taste throughout the entire bowl. Doesn't fade away. The room note is incredible. It's the most, it is the most amazing air freshener ever. Better than any kind of canned air freshener, spray air freshener, or scented candles. At least in my opinion. This stuff is unbelievable smelling. Tastes fantastic. However, dramatic pause ends. It does have that heavily cased, wet, goopy characteristic about it. Pop open the tin. Once you get over that blast of fantastic, sweet-smelling tobacco, you look at it and you're like, man, this stuff is wet and goopy. And you pick up a piece of it and it's like sticky and clumping together. So you're like, oh, boy. At least that's my thought. I was like, oh, boy. So you have to pack this stuff really gently and loosely. You overpack it and it won't smoke worth a damn. You pack it nice and loose and this stuff smokes fine. It does not smoke wet and it won't gurgle. And you get fantastic um, flavor. It doesn't get bitter. It doesn't s taste like you're smoking steam, hot air. You get all that flavor. No gurgly, wet nastiness, no bitterness if you pack it loosely and gently. Unbelievable smelling and tasting stuff. Probably, the, probably, out of all these aromatics, easily, in my opinion, the best tasting and best smelling flavor. And it's just kind of a general sugary sweetness to it. I don't know, maybe a little vanilla, maybe a little honey. But it's hard to, for me to pin down a, a precise flavor pile. It's just sweet. God, it's good. It's, it's Seriously. It's like crack tobacco almost. When you're done... You get to the bottom of the bowl, you knock your ashes out, you're going to have a wet, goopy dottle in the bottom of your pipe. And you smoke this stuff in the same pipe enough couple of times, and it's going to start to ghost the pipe. Now, if you like the smell and taste of this stuff, it's like, who cares? It's fantastic. I'll just dedicate this one particular pipe to this blend. Ghost away, baby. So good. It's got some of the bad things about it. You know, the wetness, the stickiness, leave a goopy mess, ghost the pipe. Damn, this stuff tastes good. It smells so good. It's to me, it's worth it. It the the experience of smoking it when it's packed right overcomes all the negative aspects of it just being a wet, goopy blend, and it doesn't dry out. It stuff just will not dry out. I've tried, but it's worth it. So try it. Be forewarned. This can this could be problem for you if you're not careful with it. But if uh, patience, your patience will be rewarded. All right, enough about that. I'm talking too much, my pipe's going out. The next one, this one you can only get in bulk. It doesn't come tinned. You can only get it from pipesandcigars.com here in the U.S. It's one of, I think it's one of Scotty's blends. Anyway, I store it in this bale top jar. It's still in the bag. Pop this thing open. Here it is. Butternut Burley. Oh, it smells delicious. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. Obviously, it's a burley blend, it's, or maybe all burley, I don't know. And the flavor is like it says, butternut or butterscotch, whatever you want to use. So it smells like that, and it tastes like that, which I like. Uh, growing up, that was one of my favorite candies as a kid for the adults to give me was some butterscotch candy, art candy. So I love that smell and flavor. It brings back some good memories from my childhood. It's not wet and goopy and sticky. You can dry it out a little bit if you want to. It doesn't leave a goopy mess in your pipe. It won't ghost your pipe. It's fantastic smelling. It doesn't... I don't have a... I like Burley blends, so I don't have a problem with Burleys. 
Some people don't like burly blends or burly tobaccos. I don't. So, but if you just don't like burlies, then this is a burly aromatic. Good stuff. Love it. Can only get it in bulk though, from pipes and cigars. And finally, is the last blend of my five to try aromatics. And it's what I'm smoking right now in this Peterson. This is an aromatic. It's almost not even an aromatic. It's like the aromatic that isn't an aromatic, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's got Latakia in it. Most, if not all, aromatics, probably every other aromatic in the world has no Latakia in it. And they're mostly like, you know, Burley or Cavendish base. You contain no Latakia. This stuff has Latakia in it. I looked up on tobacco reviews and read some descriptions, and it's like 8% at Latakia leaf, so very little. But you're thinking, how can a Latakia blend be aromatic? I mean, that's not really what aromatic tobaccos are about. That's, you know, Latakia, you're talking about English Balkans. Yeah, but this has so little aromatic in it, and there is some flavoring added to it. This stuff comes from Gwith Hoggers. I have it in bulk. You can get it in tin. I, I, I like it so much I buy large quantities of it, bail it up. Bob's Chocolate Flake. It does have the slightest hint of cocoa smell and taste. Very, I mean, you have to kind of like, yeah, I think there's a, yeah, it'll get a little cocoa out of there. And the same thing when you're sm smoking it. But at the same time you're smoking it, you're like, is it cocoa? Is that chocolate? Well, no, it's Latakia. You're, you're kind of, your mind's kind of bouncing back and forth between, what the hell is that smell? And then when you're smoking it, what the hell is that taste? I've heard some people describe it, it and it's not quite Latakia, not quite chocolate cocoa. Sometimes you smell it, and I get this, um, what's called the, uh, known as the Kindle essence, which is um, probably best described as like potpourri. Or old lady's perfume, soapy, kind of a soapy, potpourri, old lady perfume smell and taste. It's odd. It's a blend that's got, called Bob's Chocolate Flake. It's got Latakia in it, but it has this potpourri, almost soapy kind of smell and taste to it, too. So, I swear, I think most people who try this stuff, their first reaction is either, wow, this stuff is really interesting. I kind of like this. Or they're just like, puke, throw up, hideous. I, I don't think there's, I don't think, I think that's the two extremes. There's no middle ground. It's either you love this stuff or you probably just find it foul. I love it. I think it is fantastic. It's like the sum of the cocoa topping and a little bit of Latakia and that Kindle essence, whatever the hell that is, they do it with Hogarth. The sum of those parts is greater than the whole. And it's just wonderful. Oh my God, it smokes nice and cool and gentle. doesn't bite. Again, it leaves that this, the ten note is the room note is the same as the ten note. So if you, you know, it's possible that you know, she who must be obeyed won't like it. Mine doesn't really care for it too much, so I <laughs> don't smoke it when she's around much. Even though I could probably smoke this stuff every day. But that's what I'm smoking now. It won't ghost a pipe, and well, I don't think it ghosts a pipe. I haven't ghosted any of my pipes, and I smoke the bejesus out of this stuff. Which is probably a good thing, is if you don't like that smell and taste, you definitely don't want it to ghost a bike, but I don't find it does that. All right. There you go. That's my five to try aromatic pipe tobaccos. Everybody who sees this video, really, guys, you should try it and gals. Try these. Try at least one of them. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Well, somebody will probably be disappointed. Can't please everyone, but I'm telling you, if you can't find an aromatic from these five that you like, then you never will. And I'm sure there's others out there that I haven't tried, but like I mentioned earlier in the video about Boswell, I know those guys put out some great aromatics. All I've heard about their aromatics being really good. So These aren't the only ones, but these are five that I would definitely recommend to someone who's like, I want to try aromatics. I would say, try one of these five. Try all these five. Okay. So that's it for today. I'm going to do the same thing, the same concept here with Englishes, Virginias, um, maybe Oriental leaf-based tobaccos, like that. So if you found this interesting, stay tuned. You'll see some more of these coming in the same concept. So there you go. That's my take on five aromatic pipe tobaccos to try. 
Thanks for watching, and as always, smoke in peace.